749. Last week, David talked with Diana Ross about her new hit album, Why Do Fools Fall in Love, and about how she's taking charge of her career now. Also, Diana and her family have also recently moved from California, where they'd lived for a long, long time, to New York. And David asked her why. Well, you know, somehow I'm really inspired by New York. I love uh, the arts, the museums, and the theaters. I'm interested in a different kind of music than I had ever been uh, aware of. The opera and Pavarotti and, and uh, Zubin Mehta, I mean, or to be um, to able to go to the theaters and see all the different shows. And also, I, I'm giving that stuff back to my girls, too. We go out a lot. We spend a lot of time in the park. It's inspiring to me. Meeting people also that are not just in show business. There's wonderful, there's a, another world. This is as close to Europe as we're going to get. I'm really inspired by this town. I'm very happy here. Let's talk about your girls. Now, how many do you have? I have three children. Three, and mm -hmm. they're all under, what, ten? Or? What, ten, nine, and, and six. Six uh, very soon. All right, you, when you grew up in the ghetto, right? Mm -hmm. would, would you call it a ghetto? Well, Pretty I wouldn't, yeah, but... You wouldn't? <laughs> but, well, what, what, what should we call it? Poor? Well, well actually, we were poor. poor. It was a poor neighborhood, but... Um, so ghetto was a word I didn't learn until I was uh, in my 20s. And okay. I had never heard it before. We n were never denied anything. We had anything that we wanted. Yeah. And my mother is a hard worker, and you never sacrifice cleanliness. Cleanliness has nothing to do with being poor, so there was nothing that we wanted. I mean, we had everything we wanted, so I didn't consider it a ghetto. Okay, your girls are growing up uh, in a sort of rarefied kind of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, certainly they don't want for anything. Uh, they probably won't uh, as long as they're growing up. But they're sheltered, they're protected in a way that you were not. Are you, how concerned are you that they may not develop some of the strengths and some of the self-reliance and all of those things and learn the things that you learned because they're growing up in such a kind of sheltered atmosphere compared to the way you grew I don't up? know if strength and self-reliance has to do with how much money you have. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the love that's around it in your life and the guidance and uh, a lot of that, you know, your point of view. I'm try trying, and I think I'm doing a fine job, of raising my children with the uh, positive things around them. In other words, mm -hmm. they work hard. They take responsibility. I do keep my life balanced as much as I possibly can in show being in show business. And by that I mean I have as few people around me as I can. Um, in other words, my you're children, not followed by all yeah, these no, different... My children care nothing about uh, the whole thing about the star thing. They're more interested in mommy and being there when they need to talk to someone and someone to be there. And I spend a lot of time with them. I really think uh, that... Uh, and who knows what life is going to be all about. You know, it's lots of peaks and valleys. My girls seem to be really functioning well, and the city is really good for them. How do, do, they, do they come see you work, or have they over the years? Sometimes when they're not in school, if they're in school, they can't do that. Right. They can stay, and what they're very they close to their father. Their father happens to be here today, <laughs> the guy over there. <laughs> but they, you know, they have a good balance, I think. How do they... Um treat you I don't know I don't even know how to ask this I mean when they see you come out in the gowns and the things and all right and do what you do so great what how do they react to that I mean do they are you, a, well, hopefully, do you become different from mommy at home or I think I'm different and that's good too uh, they see me you know without makeup they see me uh, in ways that a lot of people don't see me they see me hurt and unhappy they see me when I'm very happy. They see the glamorous part of it. Uh, but I think for my children, as I want to be for all young people, and, and is to be a good example. So we talk. I'm honest with them. If I'm, what do you talk about? I mean, yeah, go ahead. I'm all sorry. right. Uh, I, had a, I have private meetings with my children about personal things that are important to them, their friends, or if they can sleep over with a friend, or if they can't, what I feel, why my security in, in, in this kind of business is important because I want them to understand that without feeling like they're different from the other kids. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we just talk about it. And they can be unhappy about it, and I can be unhappy about it, but this is the life. They're a bit of a celebrity just because they're mm -hmm. my children, sure. and they kind of understand that mm -hmm. and try to hold it the best they can. I mean, I always felt that I should be the positive thing in, in children's life and also in my husband's life or my man's life too. I shouldn't be, ne it shouldn't be negative. I think I'm, mm -hmm. it, my life has been a wonderful life, so it's not bad, you know. I mean, it shouldn't be a bad thing. So they seem to uh, handle it that way too. It's all how you hold things, isn't it? You know, if you think of me as a negative source or if you think of me as a positive source, then uh, that's how it, it reacts, you know. 
you, for them, I think I'm, I'm good. <laughs> what do you do for fun? When you take the three of them, all three of them, what do you guys go do for well, just the We girls? go and get an ice cream soda, or we go and get some of uh, those little jelly candies, or um, uh, we like to dance together. And we move all the furniture back, and everybody does their aerobics. My oldest daughter, Rhonda, and Tracy are very involved in, in gymnastics. And Chutney, the other day, figured out that she's a very good dancer. All of a sudden, she figured a move that could fit with every song, you know? And uh, we, we just spend a lot of time together. I think mostly if I'm just there, that's the most important thing. Even if they see me, if I'm there sleeping, that's okay. They know I'm there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Diana, it's really good to see you. Thank you. Best. It's a pleasure to always visit you. Thank you. Best Thank with you. your movies and albums, and most of all, with the four of you guys together. Yes, thank you very much. Thanks, Diana. Okay. We'll be back in just a moment.